Spread the word, not the germs. Hi guys, welcome to episode four of Creative Corner. Today we're gonna to be making butterflies using two different items that you can find in your home during quarantine. Um, the first one we're gonna use is pasta and the second one we're gonna use is toilet paper rolls. So we're gonna go ahead and cut to pasta first. All right, so when you're making your picture with bow tie pasta, those are the ones that look like butterflies, they look like this, okay? Um, you can use Sharpie, you can use, um, I have these paper mate pens, they seem to work well. Um, basically any markers that will write on the pasta or you can even try paint for the sake of a mess, I just use um, the paper pen markers. So here are my little butterflies that I've already decorated. Can't really see with my rainbow glove, but they're cute and decorated. Some have spots, some have hearts. All right, and then I have some blank here because I'm gonna do some with you guys. So what you need is a hot glue gun and you're gonna have to ask your parents if you're allowed to use this or have them glue it for you. And you're gonna go ahead and glue your little butterflies to your paper. All right, so parents, if you have paint and you're willing to let your kid paint the pasta, I would recommend gluing down the pasta first before they paint it. So as you saw this one, I kind of colored with the Sharpie. It was kind of hard. Um, the smaller the pen, the better. Or if you want to let them use paint, you can glue down the butterflies first, just like this. These are blank. So, and then just allow them to paint them while they're glued to the paper. This little bottle is only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I know we're not allowed to go out, but if you pass by the Dollar Tree for groceries, they have a really good deal there for paint or anything in the crafting section, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. All right, so we have our painted pastas, which obviously need to dry, so we gotta be careful. We have our decorated pastas already glued down, our butterflies, okay? Now we're gonna get a Sharpie or a black color pencil, whichever one you like and you're gonna go in there and add some details to make it look like a butterfly. So of course, we gotta put their little antennas. All right, there is our antennas. Now we gotta make it look like the butterflies are moving. So, um, Whenever you see maybe in comics or when you see like the bumblebee, the little dashes that looks like it's moving, we're gonna add those to the butterfly so it looks like they're flying around the page. So I'll be right back. Now we're gonna do activity number two, which is using the toilet paper rolls to make a different type of butterfly. So for this one, you're gonna need a white sheet of paper. You're gonna need a background color. If you don't have construction paper at your house, just have your uh, kid go ahead and color the whole sheet of paper a color first and then get another white piece of paper to make the wings. And you'll see why in a minute. So this is gonna be my background. Um, you only need one sheet of paper if you have construction paper, two if you don't, so that you can make your background. And you're going to go ahead and fold that paper in half like this. This might be a, a step that you want to help your kids do. Um, if they want to do it themselves, they totally can. You're going to use um, the folded paper. You got to make sure that you are drawing from the side that is folded, not from the open side. So from the side that is folded. Okay, and you're going to draw your butterfly wings. Okay, so if you look at the ones I'm wearing, perfect example, this one is bigger than that one. Here, let me go ahead. So my top one is bigger than my bottom one. Okay, so you see the, the shape of my top one is almost kind of like a triangle, and then the bottom one is like a smaller triangle, right? So when you are drawing it, think of my wings. The first one has to be big. The second one has to be a little smaller, all right? So you're going to start from the fold, 
remember the fold. And you're gonna go ahead and do your one wing and then your other wing, okay? So you see I made my top wing bigger. My, let me go ahead and do this so you can actually see it. You don't have to do Sharpie. I'm just doing this so you can see better on the video. All right, so there's your wing. Now you're gonna get your scissors and you're gonna cut with it folded. Don't open up the paper. Cut as it's folded, just like this. If some of you know how to cut a paper heart. It's basically that. We're just doing butterfly-shaped wings. Okay, there you go. This part is trash. And then when you open it up, you should have a pair of butterfly wings, all right? Again, uh, parents, if you wanna do this step for your kids, all you gotta do is draw it for them and they can cut it. Now back to my colorful background. We're gonna go ahead and glue my butterfly to the center. All right, after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and get your toilet paper roll and you're gonna glue him right in the middle, just like this, all right? I would recommend putting glue on the actual paper, not the toilet paper roll. So go ahead and use the glue in the center where um, the body would be. And you're gonna go ahead and just put it right on top, just like that. Again, if you have hot glue, that seems to work, but I think this will work with regular glue too. You just have to be patient. I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue to make sure that it stays. But if you don't have hot glue, I think it'll work. All right, there's my body. Perfect. All right, now, um, if you don't have googly eyes like I don't, because those are in my classroom, you can make some eyes on paper and go ahead and glue them on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some eyes, maybe a cute smile and be right back. So there is your cute little face, um, very simple, but again, we're working with limited materials here at home. Now, what I usually tell my kids when we work with butterflies is we, we'll review shapes and we'll talk about all the different shapes that you see in butterflies' wings. So um, at this point, just let your kids add any shapes they can think of and decorate all of those wings so that they're not white. All right, um, again, well, I'll use pencil because that's how you're supposed to do it. You use pencil first and then you trace those pencil lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and use pencil. Now it's time for the Sharpie. Um, I want you to notice while I was drawing and while you watch me trace that I kind of mirrored the shapes that were on each side of the wings. So if I drew three circles over here, I drew three circles over here. That's just a choice that you can make. It could be wild or you can make them match. It's up to you. So be right back. We're gonna do Sharpie now. All right, Sharpie's done. So at this point, if you do have pipe cleaners, obviously that's super fun and you can use that for the antennas or you can draw them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to draw them and I'm gonna show you how to do those. So my butterfly will have um, four antennas. <laughs> All right, so again, with the Sharpie or the pencil, whichever one you feel confident with, I would just skip the Sharpie at this point. From behind it, you can go ahead and draw the little antennas just like that. And just like my pasta, um, if you want to go ahead and add those butterfly lines to add movement, you can. All right, and then uh, with the pipe cleaners, what you will do is you will get one pipe cleaner like this. Of course, I chose pink. You fold it in half, just like so. See in half. You twist the end. All right, so now you kind of have like the two antennas and you have a base to glue it. And then all you're going to do is make that same swirl pattern just like how I did, and I like to just kind of bend it as so. Pipe cleaners are awesome. They kind of just do whatever you tell them to do. All right, so there you go. Same thing I just drew. This is just because I have pipe cleaners, and for this, you need hot glue, and just, so I'm gonna put it right on top of the antennas that I drew. All right, just like that. 
At this point, um, I'm just gonna add some color to make the wings pop out, and that's pretty much it. There you go, I colored them in. Um, I even added a little heart and it's a pretty cool piece of artwork because it's 3D. You can see that TP rule, kind of funny since we've all been fighting over TP. So there you go. And uh, so that's our butterfly with TP. And here is our butterflies with pasta one more time. So cute, um, just simple things you can do at home. Most of these objects you should have already. So if you're limited on supplies, um, it's still doable. So go ahead and make some art, all right? Uh, send me pictures, please. I had a couple artists send me pics. They made my day. It was so cute. They had sent me pictures of the castle lesson I just did, and I posted it to my site. So please go check it out and send me any pics of you guys making art. It makes me so happy. All right, so see you next time. Peace out. Spread the word, not the germs.